Hey guys, it's Valerie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm hanging out in the playroom right now, but I went ahead downstairs to declutter some toys. So I implement a toy rotation where we have this toy shelf from Ikea. It fits, it's eight cubbies, but um, I try to do like one toy per cubby which is kind of hard with like small pieces and stuff. It ends up being quite a few toys, but I still don't want to like just have it filled with bins with tons of different toy options. I try to implement a little bit of like Montessori style play, um, but I definitely use a wide variety of different kinds of toys. Um, so I have a whole toy storage room downstairs that I've kind of showed in previous videos, but I just want to show you guys and I'm going to declutter for the first time since moving into this house, which we've been here for a few months and i just have never really decluttered like the small toys like baby toys and stuff like that i have gotten rid of some of the bigger ones before we moved i got rid of like some baby jumpers and stuff like that gave them to my sister uh, but now i just need to get rid of all the little toys that we're not playing with anymore because it just ends up getting in my way for toy rotations and i am just in the mood to declutter and donate some stuff Okay, so this is our toy storage. We have a little uh, storage like utility closet downstairs in our basement. And I've showed this before when I was doing a toy organization, but obviously as I do toy rotation, sometimes this gets a little bit messy if it's not perfectly organized. I feel like it still looks pretty good, but you can get a feel for how many toys we have. Uh, we have a lot of little people toys. We have some wooden toys. We have open-ended toys like blocks and magnet tiles and balls. Uh, we have some more baby type toys. So I really just need to go through everything to declutter um, and just start the process and see how it goes. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back all the way back. I want to just show you a little bit of an after shot. So this is what the toy space storage looks like. I wanted to have things more openly displayed on the shelves. That was already my goal, but I just cleaned and tidied it up a bit. We have a lot of different options for toy rotation, especially when I'm only doing like seven toys out at a time, or obviously like sets of toys, different categories. But this is going to make toy rotation so much easier for me to just be able to see everything and grab it. And I love having a bookshelf to be able to rotate books as well. We have more toys here in the garage. So luckily we have a three car garage and only one car. Uh, so we have lots of storage space. Obviously, I don't want it to just be like cluttered, but Asher actually likes playing in here sometimes. So we have his little like tool table that he got for Christmas. Um, I think like maybe I'll rotate it into the playroom sometimes, but for now, when he comes out here, he likes to play with it. We also have this huge um, like car racetrack with some cars that we keep out here. So um, for now, I'm not really gonna like mess with this. I know I don't want to declutter it um, Someday we're gonna like fully organize the whole garage We just keep doing like little bits and pieces, but that's kind of how projects work when you have two young kids um, Or any young kids, but well, I do have a like tub out here um, that has toys from when we moved and I've been kind of going like in and out of it, but not like fully taking everything out which is what I need to do and I really should give it a home downstairs again 
because I want everything to fit in that toy storage center so that when I do rotations, it's not too difficult. Um, and then also I let my sister borrow some toys on a road trip so we have this whole little bag to go through. And some of those are like smaller baby toys, so I'm gonna just declutter them. Um, I'm not really getting rid of that much, but I'm going to be working on this and being more intentional over the next coming months. And if my kids aren't really like spending a lot of time playing with it, let's just get rid of it and make sure I'm only rotating in toys that they can actually like independently play and enjoy um, and trying to figure out like what works best for their ages now. So it's kind of tough, but that's the plan. relatively small bag of toys I'm decluttering for now. Um, I have a couple things I'll grab out of the car that the kids just um, don't really play with in the car or anywhere anymore. So there's little kid stuff. I'm going to see if my sister wants any of this stuff. She has a, a nine, almost 10 month old. So um, he might want some of our handy downs or whatever. But I'm just going to work on making sure the downstairs is organized. And then in the future, I definitely want to be more intentional, like I said. So I'm going to be paying attention over the coming weeks as I, do, as I do a toy rotation. If they're not really playing with something, I should just take it off the shelf and get rid of it. Unless it was something that it's like, okay, I really think it will do better when they're a different age. Or... Um, I spend a lot of money so I want to keep trying but most of my toys I just want to uh, really like narrow it down I think I feel justified in not decluttering toys because I have a playroom where I do a rotation and I don't have like too much going on in here by my standards um, so I'll give you a little playroom tour in case you haven't seen the whole thing recently um, and I do switch things up as I do my toy rotation, I also like move around the nugget couch that we have. I swap out stuffed animals. Um, we have the toys that they can like ride. So right now I have some horses out um, downstairs. You saw we have like a tractor and a bike, things like that. So there's more than my original plan of only having like eight to 10 toys out because we also have the play kitchen and whatever, but it has been working for my kids. I've noticed a little bit of a dip in independent play, but I think maybe it's the ages that they're at. Like Asher is almost two and a half. He's more at an age where he kind of wants to play with me or with somebody because he wants to do like some pretend play, I think. Um, and he also still do, does a good amount of independent play and I can count on that. River is just a little bit tougher. She is my 15 month old fiery little girl and she's also a bit of a daredevil and can hurt herself quite a bit so yeah plus they're siblings and they're starting to get into a little bit more of fighting um we had a couple rough weeks with hitting and stuff like that but it's already getting better so yeah that's just a look into my thought process when it comes to toys and decluttering and all that i definitely believe that decluttering is a beneficial tool it's a huge thing if you can just let go of stuff you have way less to maintain and it just makes everything less stressful and it, it really just helps you like less is more for real um since i've already spent like good money on some of this stuff nothing i buy is like too crazy expensive i try to get things like on facebook marketplace or good deals um like when amazon is having crazy deals and stuff like that but 
all that to say, um, you know, I have bought these toys and I don't want to just like get rid of them um, without trying to put them back in the toy rotation or thinking it through because I, I have this fear, which I guess is everybody's fear when it comes to decluttering, that I'll need it later on or at least like we would appreciate it later on and I don't want to just be constantly buying new toys um, to replace things we're getting rid of. So it's all about having that intentional mindset in my opinion and as long as I'm not having a huge influx of things, which I really haven't been um, buying too many things. Um, the hard things like Amazon Prime Day I bought one thing and then um, Walmart was having a deal on like an outdoor toy so I bought that. But yeah, anyways, I feel like everyone just has to have their own idea of what minimalism is, their own idea of um, what works best for their family and their kids. And I'd just rather everything that I do and everything that I'm a part of be a judgment-free center <laughs> zone because motherhood is hard enough and we're always comparing and judging each other and that just doesn't help, especially with social media and the internet and everything. So yeah. I feel like I'm just rambling, 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 but that's my thought process. Let me show you the playroom and then I will be done. Okay, this is the current setup. There are a couple toys not picked up because that's reality and I didn't want to do that really quick. <laughs> so we have our play kitchen from Ikea. The kids use this a lot. Um, I'd say every day, not for like long periods of time, but a little bit every day. So I might pull it out of rotation at some point. So far I haven't, I've just moved it. Like it started here, went over there, came back over here. So um, I might actually remove it for like a week or two and then bring it back. But so far it is a constant we have. I took away the food for a couple weeks and then brought it back. Um, and they've been playing with that a lot. We just hung up these signs. I got them at a craft fair. I love what they say. They're so cute, handmade little paintings. Let me love you a little more before you're not little anymore. Pulls on the heartstrings. And then these are both more um, like Christian biblical kind of things. So faith like Daniel, hope like Moses, heart like David. I thought that was cute and kind of more like for my boy. And then I am a child of God. Um, so. Yeah, I thought those were so cute. And they match our Ikea um, like light wood theme going on. So this is my main toy rotation shelf. Um, what I started to do when things felt a little overwhelming and we just had a lot of little toys going on, I decided to actually make the diaper station right here. So I use one of the cubes rather than having another toy in there. Um, so I typically have like eight toys, but I mean, it ends up being like a lot of little pieces and this isn't picked up perfectly, but right now our rotation is this little puzzle from the Target Dollar Spot, some instruments to play with, a little uh, Little People Zoo Train, which these are the hard ones like this one I would maybe get rid of just because it doesn't have an off switch and it has different songs. But the last couple days since I pulled it out, both kids have played with it a lot. So I don't wanna remove that, you know? Um, this one I thought I was going to be getting rid of, but when I pulled it out this time, they've both played with it every day quite a bit. So now I'm like, okay, what do I do? You know? <sighs> um, and then we've got just a little thing of little people. River was getting into this thing where she would take these and put them in the kitchen, which was so cute. So I didn't want to take them away. I brought out this castle so she can put them in the castle. And I think that's like an age appropriate thing for her right now. And then we have this little money thing uh, for the f playing with the food. We also have a couple random toys like the dinosaurs out. We have a bookshelf. We have these two horses, which they've been loving horses. And we play music on Spotify and ride the horses. Our nugget couch, which I love. This part of our pickler triangle climbing gym. And then we've been always having a basket filled with stuffed animals lately. And they both seem to like that. So I don't think I'll take that away anytime soon. But that's our playroom right now. And that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you next time. Bye.